Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, this is JCC2224 bringing you another Star Wars action figure review. Today I will review the 30th anniversary um, Covert Ops Clone Trooper. Now to start, I got this figure many many years ago and his box is deeply in storage and it would be a painstaking pro process to get his box out to show you. So I will not be able to show you the box. But I will be able to show you the figure and his, um, and where he was, what figure he was based off of. Now to truly start, I really like this figure. He is practically a one of a kind of clone trooper. Few have purple and, um, the ni this nice, um, camouflage deco on him. And he is this really, really, um, unique in my clone trooper army and, he is really nice. If you see one um, online, uh, I really suggest I really suggest you should get him. He he is a really nice figure. Now to start, he came with two weapons: a DC-15 pistol and a DC-15 rifle. He is a repaint of the 2005 Revenge of the Sith clone trooper. And this figure was originally released in Revenge of the Sith as an exclusive figure. And, um, he was resold, um, in the 30th anniversary collection because he was voted by fans and collectors to be released again. Which I am really happy that fans chose this figure because I was not able to get him in the ROTS exclusive. And I was really really fortunate that they voted him top so I can get my hands on one. To start off, his articulation is the basic clone trooper articulation. Most of you know what it is. Ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, ball hinged um, waist, swivel legs, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. That's the generic clone trooper articulation. And his weapons, because he was originally, he's just repacked from 2005, are the, what I call the crappy clone guns. They aren't the highly detailed ones. I have tons of these clone guns, these um, low graded ones in my collection, like in this guy, he has it. Because I think they only started, in, it started um, having high quality weapons and what 2008 and not even all the 2008 figures had high quality weapons so he is a really nice figure um, you can get him in really good poses um, you can get him in a pose where he's trying to snipe some droids with um, Mace Windu's attack battalion because he is purple I really like that purple is one of my favorite colors I admit it. And I think purple looks really unique and cool on a clone trooper. Especially how, like, you can see on the shoulder pad how it glistens like that. That's just really, really cool. You can also see his purple detailing on his helmet. And here he is, the Cover Ops clone trooper, compared to the Special Operations Clone Wolves clone trooper. Sorry, that took a little bit. Here we go. You can see how um, LucasArts and Hasbro want to keep the gray kind of look to them. Even though he's covert ops and he's special ops, I mean, I see them as like phase one and phase two, you know. There really isn't that much of a difference between special and covert. And this figure is just really, really superb. This camouflage detailing is really, really nice. He looks a lot like Commander Gree with that detailing, so he can even go in with the 41st Elite. He is really... Sorry about that. Things happen. He is a really nice figure that can blend in with multiple legions, like... 500 first because blue is similar to purple. Mace Windu's battalion because it's purple. 
you know, 40 for Sleet because it has um, the camouflage deco on it. Even the 212th with the Shadow Troopers. I mean, he can blend in with tons of legions. He's really nice. Like, if you want to make a stop motion video and they're kind of like one clone short and um, a few legions, you can have this guy's kind of a special guy. So I hope you enjoyed this rather um, kind of short review, kind of normal length really, of the 30th Anniversary slash Revenge of the Sith Curver Ops Clone Trooper. I will be reviewing more of these um, 2005 and 2007 figures in the near future, and have a good day, and may the Force be with you.